Tiffany, a patient who has recently been diagnosed with GERD. Filled with questions, she decides to ask Dr. Adams, where is the GEV? Dr. Adams explains that the gastroesophageal valve is marked by the Z-line, a zigzagging line between the stomach tissue and esophageal tissue. Tiffany wants to know what exactly is GERD. A healthy GEV closes tightly to keep stomach contents from refluxing into the esophagus. However, a bad valve is unable to prevent reflux, causing heartburn, regurgitation, or other symptoms of GERD. Because most medication only alters the chemistry of stomach contents, symptoms may persist despite consistent doses. Next, Tiffany wonders what an EGD is. An esophagogastroduodenoscopy is a procedure that Dr. Adams performs to examine the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum with a flexible tube-shaped camera inserted through Tiffany's mouth. The tube is positioned to view the area where the esophagus and stomach meet. When Tiffany asks about hiatal hernias, Dr. Adams explains that they occur when a portion of the stomach has migrated up through the diaphragm and into the chest cavity. This breaks down the extremely important high pressure zone and can contribute to GERD symptoms. The anatomy of the high pressure zone causes pressure differences at the lower esophageal sphincter, and that helps the GEV stay closed. This keeps stomach contents inside, even if Tiffany is upside down. However, when a hiatal hernia causes the breakdown of this zone, reflux symptoms increase. Dr. Adams suggests the TIF procedure to treat Tiffany's GERD, but she worries about what this entails. The procedure begins like an EGD. Valve reconstruction occurs when Dr. Adams pulls down the Z-line of the GEV and wraps the tissue to build a new valve, then uses plastic fasteners to secure the new valve into place. Thus, Dr. Adams can rebuild the GEV from inside Tiffany's stomach with no incisions. Tiffany worries about her recovery after the TIF procedure, but Dr. Adams puts her at ease. Serosifuse fasteners are shaped like the letter H and hold the new valve so the tissues can fuse together, aka serosal fusion. This healing process allows tissue to grow between the backsides of the fundus and esophagus. It is therefore important for Tiffany to remember to follow the recommended diet for her valve to have time to heal. Tiffany inquires about the difference between traditional surgery and the TIF procedure. Dr. Adams explains that traditional fundoplication is done laparoscopically with a scope inserted into the abdomen through a small incision. TIF is an acronym for transoral incisionless fundoplication. Access to valve is through the mouth. No incisions and no scars. Dr. Adams discusses GERD treatment options with Tiffany based on what she's trying. Viewing the continuum, she explains that although she's been sleeping with her head elevated seven inches and eating smaller meals, she's tired of GERD interfering in her life. She's also concerned about depending on GERD medications and believes they are associated with various complications. Finally, Dr. Adams recommends the TIF procedure based on Tiffany's test results because it fills the gap so that Tiffany doesn't need medications or traditional surgery.